It's some kind of dormant virus? Emergency. Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You worked for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you got lost. Emergency now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, on, in everyone. case you're wondering. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is going to be okay, guys. Stay positive. We repeat, this is not what the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Emergency. Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hire to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DeCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody, as far as I can tell. If Shea Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Flashing wireless signal? Great. That means you can still access systems. Go ahead and patch me into their feed. Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Good job. This core wasn't too complex. But rebooting the advanced hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed and that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al-Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy an assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, 
Perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. Following the Great Purge of 2000, William Miles became the de facto leader of the Assassins. A cunning and ruthless strategist, he trained several agents who infiltrated Abstergo, including Clay Kazmarek and Lucy Stillman. In late 2012, I captured William Miles in Cairo and delivered him to Warren Vidic in Rome. Miles' son, Desmond, attacked Abstergo, killed Vidic and Master Templar Daniel Cross. He fled to a first civilization temple in New York. On December 21st, Desmond Miles was killed inside the precursor structure. The grieving William Miles went underground and left the Brotherhood in the hands of Gavin Banks. Banks led a small team across the globe, attempting to rebuild assassin cells. We have confirmed sightings in Kyoto, Moscow, and Paris. Miles resurfaced in late 2013, and we have confirmed his involvement in the infiltration of Abstergo Entertainment Montreal by the assassins Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane. Both Miles and Banks remain at large. Agent Acosta has tasked the Akashic satellite Plexus to sweep the planet for traces of assassin activities. We have yet to locate them. Juicy stuff on it, but I might be a terrible person. 